All right, response video to some eyeball guy. Uh, it's on a three minute debate kind of thing. And his video is only four minutes, so I can use most of it. And uh, so I'll respond to it now. And uh, eventually I'll just cut all the clips together and we'll see if he has a counter argument or whatever. And uh, if the videos go a little bit long, I'll post them on the other site. And that's the way it will be. So I'll post a link to his video. It's really quite entertaining, uh -huh, his rhetoric. Uh, so anyway, going to begin real soon now. Um, get myself all geared up. I've only got my three minutes. Uh, <clears throat> okay, here we go. Into the debate. Ready. It's like jumping in the pool when the water's kind of cold. <sighs> all right, so you're, uh, you didn't make an argument saying anything about why life is worth living or why it makes sense or why the maze game should be played or why it needs to be played. No, you didn't explain what makes life valuable and purposeful and useful to the universe or to anything else or to, for, to, that, that serves any any purpose to justify the suffering. All you did is argue that human beings should, don't worry, be happy. That they should uh, <laughs> benignly neglect any responsibility to fix anything or do a goddamn thing. Uh, you called us, who don't buy your bullshit, uh, spiritually lazy. You're obviously intellectually lazy. No, you're an intellectual coward because you won't face what the truth consequences are of having a system that's based on the biology. And so if you're, if you're going to, what, are you rejecting the science? Uh, it's consumption and reproduction. It's stupid. It's idiotic. Uh, everything we are was built to serve that purpose, no other agenda. There's no place to go to, no contentment doesn't mean anything in the context of this horrid waste and, and putrid nonsense. You're just saying, oh well, nature designed us to be cannibalistic. Yes, we're eating other sentient creatures and that's just fine. Well, it's not just fine, it's for this plain fucking stupid. And, and you're just rationalizing it away. You're just saying, well, no, nature knows what it's doing. You're saying detach from your, your desire and uh, you're, you're obsessed with, with survival. You've decided that that's the fucking goal. Like, there's no other goal. No, it's just to do what the Borg says. Be part of the Borg. Um, you didn't explain how nature isn't the Borg. All, you've, all you explained is, is how you can love your slavery. Love your, love your abusive husband. Love your abused life. Um, you know, enjoy uh, the the debauchery. Um, be a pervert. <laughs> you know, uh, be a child molester. I mean, it's just it's nonsense. It's idiotic. Uh, everything about us, every other desire, you say we must detach. You know, yes, get rid of your erect penis. That's no that has no place in this world. Uh, but somehow I, I think you still want people to procreate for no good goddamn reason, right? Because the biology says maybe you should be doing that. Um, because you sound like you're defending us sitting around ignoring the nonsense and saying and it doesn't even make any sense how the hell do you get contentment through compassion that's about the most idiotic duality I've ever heard of throwing those two things together contentment and compassion it doesn't make any fucking sense all right you don't have compassion without empathy if you have empathy you're feeling their pain okay it's gonna hurt the hell out of you to watch something suffer if you're a normal psychology um, but you know you obviously aren't because you're embracing the bath water okay and you're chucking the baby out the window you're saying fuck quality quality doesn't matter all that matters is survival quantity all you know it just matters on getting to the end and fuck how we get there all right it's all about the, the the you know means to an end yes it's all about the end which is survival and screw the means it doesn't matter how hard it is uh, it's just an idiotic idiotic precept um and then to sit there and defend what all we have to, to we can't know pleasure without pain it's a, just a bullshit idiotic statement it's just words you string together it doesn't mean anything human beings can live perfectly fine without polio smallpox the aids virus lots of things people can die humanely and passively they don't have to die nature's way they don't have to live nature's way so there's no way life has to be any kind of burden it doesn't have to be at all it can be a very light burden a very minute burden uh, we can make it so, okay? There's nothing stopping it. So to, so to declare there can be no other way. And then this, you know, it's even more idiotic to say it can't be fixed and then to defend its existence then. 
that's even bigger reason to blow it the fuck away. If, if I believed sincerely what you're saying, then yes, I'd say blow it up right now. And I'm not even saying that. I'm saying intellectually, there's no, no, no defense for doing anything less. But obviously, human beings aren't ready to do that. So let's fix it if we can. Uh, but you're saying you can't even fix it. Don't even try to fix it. Just learn to live with it. Learn to love your slavery. Learn to love your oppression. I mean, it's just nonsense. Putrid rhetoric. So, I'm over time now. Touche.